Chair, reservation with a brief comment. Okay. Uh, uh, please take your comment. In the beginning, this bill was a little more, uh, let's say it was reworded with specific caps. Uh, there was a 459% interest that was calculated as when one comes in and gets a $100 loan, they pay $1,750. Under the proposal to put it down to uh, the cap at 36%, there would be a $1.38 that people would get um, as their fee every two weeks. They would pay every two weeks $1.38. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I don't think a small business can do that. So what we've got here is a compromise to keep the payday loans, which for some people who don't have credit cards, can have access to. And Mr. Speaker, my fear is if we sh shut these guys down and run them out of town, it's gonna go back to the old loan sharks who break kneecaps and knuckles if you don't pay on time. This is a little bit more genteel than those. So Mr. Speaker, I think we should tread on this lightly and slowly. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Representative Lohan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. With reservations and just the same <laughs> reason that I prefer the earlier version of the bill that included a cap on APR. All right, thank you very much. Representative Tokyoka. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Strong reservations. Uh, May please proceed. I request to insert comments into the journal. So ordered. Thank you. For discussion, yes, Representative Decoy. Uh, with reservations, Mr. Speaker, so, thank you. So ordered. For the discussion, Representative St. Buenaventura. With reservations. So ordered. Um, I echo the judicial